Alright, what's up everybody? Since I don't like politics and this channel is mainly about videography, I think it's the best time to talk about the Prince of the Oompa Loompas and the Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> In this video I will try to be as neutral as possible, but I thought I will need to post something about the fight of the blue and the red pirates. COVID, 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 In this video I tried to collect all the best highlights, the funny parts and the fights of this election. And most importantly, the dance. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said young man, get yourself off the ground. Yeah, the young man. <laughs> Do you guys think Trump ever read the lyrics of this song? <sighs> I don't think so. I've been with uh, a number of women. So yeah, if you live in the United States, you're aware of the box match between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I just have one thing to say. And during these campaigns, we had the first presidential coming out. I'll walk in there, I'll kiss everyone in that audience. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women and the, um, everybody. I'll just give you a big fat kiss. Yeah, he's kissing men and he's dancing on village people. I think I know why I couldn't find a My Little Pony cake in Walmart. So yeah, Trump is here with his big show, and meanwhile on the other side, the mood is a lot more quieter. Yeah, stay in the circle, bitches, because if you don't stay, you will pay more taxes. A circle is a shape, it goes around and around. Biden is really professional with these silent parties. But like seriously, on Trump's side is like a party, and on Biden's side is like a funeral. On the other side, the Democrats started a new traffic meetup. So basically, the Americans have a new thing to do in their cars. This way, you can actually stay there for a whole week, because after Trump's pandemic, half of America already lives in their car. My name is Jake, and I have been living in my car for nine months. I mean, if you think this is not a big deal, just check out the TV show audiences, and you will see how different this is since February. I mean, this way it's probably safer to them to not meet the toxic environment behind the scenes. And this is the part when you also realize that this is like a Black Mirror episode. But of course, after the campaigns, we had a notorious cockfight. What do you say? Yeah. Are you a retired one or something? Yeah. yeah. Hello? Okay, do you have somebody I can talk to him? You are a little bit too excited. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, what? What? Wait. What? This is not fake news. And after the presidential debate came the vice presidential debate and nobody freaking cared about this until it became funny because a fly stayed on Snow White's head for for minutes. Stand with you. It is remarkable that, that when somebody... if anyone knows bullshit, it's me. So tonight I feasted with glee. I recognize the stench that emanates from pence and it's so so sweet and yeah even mr biden snapped on this joke like <laughs> since the democrats couldn't find a real character to run against trump this election is really a trump or no trump question who is also a professional nickname creator you know lion ted we call him lion ted looking at little marco little rocket man he picks the nicknames with the help of the audience okay let's do it who likes slow joe who likes Sleepy Joe? Yeah! That's what I thought. Now help me to choose our enemy's nickname. It's going to be Mike Litoris yeah! or Ben Dover. Yeah! Okay. You know who it was? Crooked Hillary and myself. <laughs> Trump also went to the church and he was like, hmm, I will donate a bit. This way I can write it down during the tax return season, as usual. 
And I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but he always sits like this. Like his back is used to sitting hours on the toilet playing Candy Crush. But with the campaign and the cockfights, the election is coming really soon. And I really hope my favorite anti-Trumper comes back again. Trump is now president of the United States. President Obama. For what a great honor address. to be able to introduce for the first time. In our next shot, our main character realizes that her parents were killed by the Dark Lord. Action! Uh, zoom out a bit. Okay. Now a big shout. I'm pretty sure she was the happiest person when she heard that Trump will move if she loses. I'm not gonna feel so good. Maybe I'll have to leave the country. I don't know. Of course, after this, Biden's team came out with the best campaign video. If I lose to him, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I will never speak to you again. You'll never see me again. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. While this is happening on Biden's side, Trump's team is trying to do everything so they can present Biden as a stupid old man. For example, if you go up on Trump's website and you click on the wrong page, you will see this picture. And I'm not sure which one is yours, but I think my favorite highlight of this, of this season is that Trump got the coronavirus, even though he was the one who made fun of Biden that he's wearing a big mask. Let me ask, I don't, have to, I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. You know what the problem was? Trump stepped out the circle. Draw a circle in the air! And when Trump Trumpelinho came out of the hospital, he missed his supervillain potion so much that after his billions and billions cash line, he had to find a new one. COVID, 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 COVID! COVID, COVID-19, COVID! COVID, COVID, pandemic, COVID, 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 COVID! COVID! COVID, COVID, COVID! COVID, 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 COVID! COVID, 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 COVID! COVID, COVID, COVID! COVID, COVID, COVID. I'm already full with the COVID, the pandemic, and Trump too. So, no matter who wins, my only request to the next president is to please do not ban TikTok in the US. Otherwise, we're I gonna watch the next Ice Age? Or tell me, how will I be able to see the incoming next generation doctors? Germany, Germany! So yeah, we have these two wonderful choices and probably five weeks after the election day we will be able to see, we will be able to see which side dances better. Go and vote. Bye bye.